In order to make our own class, all we have to do is go to File, go to New, and go to File, or you can simply press Command N to create a new file inside of your project. So we're going to select File, and I'm going to go to iOS, Cocoa Touch, and select Objective C Class, and I'm going to press Next. And now I'm going to be able to create a new class. Now, we need to give our file a name, so it's important we start with a capital letter since all class names begin with a capital letter. It is a convention when programming in Objective-C. It also helps us dis distinguish our objects and classes. This makes it easy for developers to recognize classes. Our name should describe the object we want to create. Furthermore, we prefix our classes with two or three capital letters to distinguish it from other classes. These letters are defaulted by the class prefix we chose when we set up our initial project. For our first class, we will give it the name MBF Dog. So we're going to remove View Controller and type dog in. Although it might be more difficult to see the need now, when code becomes more complex, two classes that are named the same thing cause serious problems. This is especially true when you're using code from other people or we can also say using third-party libraries. We see the field states inheritance. This means in English who is our parent. Who are we going to inherit our behavior and traits from? We will talk more about this later but for now simply put NS object. So we're going to say that this is inherits from or is a subclass of NS object. NS object is the Genghis Khan class that Apple has designated that is the common ancestor for all classes we will use throughout the course. This way, all of the classes we will write will share the behavior from NS object. So let's go ahead and press next. And we're going to make sure that we add to target man's best friend. And we're going to be able to press create. So make sure that this is checked. And we now see that we've just created our first dog class. You see that we now get a header file, a .h file, and a .m file. We can also move these files down into our project. Um, these, this file directory is a flat directory, so this has no effect on the program, but graphically it looks a little bit nice to put these down here below our view controller class. There's one major difference between creating these header.h and implementation.m files versus the view controller files we saw earlier in that we don't have a view associated with these files inside of our storyboard. And we'll talk more about why that's the case later. But for now, we need to know that with this header and this.m file, we now have the basic outline for our dog class.